Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will look into how to use isolates in our Flutter app. Just like threads, what we have in Java, we have isolates here in Flutter. Typically, each isolate has a separate memory where it performs the event looping. Or in other words, in order to perform multi-threading here in Flutter, we go for using isolates. So with the help of the isolates, we will be able to run tasks separately, which is independent of the main isolate, which is the darts thread. And our Flutter app can have one or more isolates. In such cases, if there are two isolates which is running independently in our Flutter app, and there is a data which needs to be shared between these two isolates, then there comes the concept called ports. And these ports are important concept in case of isolates. Basically, we go for using ports in order to transfer data between isolates. Say for example, we have a sad data which is being used by two independent isolates. And if these two isolates needs to communicate based upon the sad data, then we go for using ports here. So we basically have two ports. One is the send port and the other is the receive port. So basically when you hear the term isolate, the first question which comes to our mind is why should we go for using isolates? In order to answer that question, we have a simple example right over here where we have a circular progress indicator which keeps loading infinitely after which we have few spacing followed by which we have the elevated button and consider this elevated button is going to perform some heavy duty task like a file operation or can be a network call it's based upon the use case of your application but consider upon clicking this elevated button it is going to perform a heavy task right and let's First command this use isolate method and try to call run heavy task without isolate. Therefore whenever this elevated button is pressed we are going to call this run heavy task without isolate method and pass in the argument as 4 billion. And here inside this method we have a simple for loop which is going to perform 4 billion iterations which is typically a heavy task for the Dart engine to perform. So just to keep this tutorial simple we made use of this for loop in order to mimic the heavy task okay and this is going to iterate for 4 billion and after the iteration is completed we try to print the value here the value is nothing but the value which is being added over each iteration all right consider this is a simple example where in say the on press event we try to call a heavy task without isolate here we are not going to use any isolates this is a basic flutter example where we have the for loop which is going to perform 4 billion iterations all right so if we try to refresh this app and if you pay attention, you will notice that upon clicking this button, you see the circular progress indicator just stops. And after this iteration is completed, it resumes back to its original state. I can also run this example again. So just clear the debug log. And if I click this button, the circular progress indicator freezes until this 4 billion iteration is complete. After which, the UI gets refreshed back to its original state. Which means that since Dart coding is single threaded, the main isolate is busy executing this 4 billion operation where it has no time to refresh the UI. That is the reason we see this UI getting freezed till this execution is complete. Only after this execution which is the heavy task is completed, the Dart isolate turns its focus to the UI to refresh it back to its original state. Alright, so this is a typical example where the UI gets stuck where the Dart code is involved in performing heavy task. And in order to overcome this scenario, we go for using isolates. I will also show you a working example. Now instead of calling this run heavy task without isolate method, we try to call this use isolate method. This use isolate method as the name suggests it is going to use isolate in order to perform this heavy duty task. And it calls the run heavy task with isolate method and pass in the same count which is the 4 billion. And here inside the run heavy task with isolate method, we have the same set of for loop where the argument is going to be the same 4 billion iterations. So in this scenario, if I restart this application and this time we are using the isolate in order to perform the heavy task and let's see if our Flutter app is getting stuck at any point of time. Alright, so let's restart this app and if I click this button, you see that the loading indicator is no way getting affected due to the heavy task and we also get the result of the heavy task which is performed independently of the main thread which is the main isolate here. So this typically answers the question why we need to go for isolate. So if you are performing a heavy task, it is better to hand it over to an isolate where it is going to perform the task independently of the main thread, where the main thread on the other hand can be involved in updating the state's other UI components. So being a simple example app, due to the heavy task, our loading indicator gets stuck. 
but consider large scale application where there are multiple components which is scattered around in this page each performing individual task like a network operation a ui updation so on and so forth and at that case if you are performing a heavy duty task in a single threaded operation then that would be really a worst nightmare for any developer you can also create a flutter app without isolate you can go for publishing it play store it is going to anyway work but in order to enhance the performance of a flutter app you will go for isolates all right hope you got a better understanding of what isolate is and why do we need to go for isolates with this idea and without any further delay let's jump into the coding part and let's try to implement this simple feature with the help of the isolates in our flutter app here starting with the main.dat file we have a home pointing to my home page here the my home page is nothing but a stateless widget class with an empty scaffold first let's try to build up the ui components here inside the scaffold let's first try to have an app bar after which we have a body that is going to contain a list of flutter widgets in the form of columns and the first child for the column is going to be the circular progress indicator followed by few spacing we try to define the elevated button and on the on press event of the elevated button we try to call the use isolate method which we will be defining shortly and this use isolate method is going to be an asynchronous function and inside this method we try to create an instance of a receive port with the help of which we will be able to pass the data to and fro between the isolates followed by which we try to create a try block in order to handle any exception that is happening in case of working with isolates and inside the try block we try to make use of the span method and also remember we need to make use of the await here and the span method is going to take few arguments the first is going to be the and the method which needs to run inside this isolate and the method is going to be the run heavy task with isolate method we will also write it down shortly and always make sure this method should be outside the main class because the main class by itself is an isolate which is the main isolate here which is the dart thread therefore make sure if you define this method always place it outside the class followed by which we can also pass other arguments here i am going to pass a list of arguments and the first argument on the list is going to be the receive port which we have created here right with the help of the dot indicator we can pass the send port which is available in the receive port followed by which we try to specify the iterations here as mentioned we are going to make use of the for loop that is going to take four billion iterations so that count is being passed as a parameter over here in say this span method and after the try block if the isolate fails to identify the entry point then in that case we try to print isolate as failed in the debug console and we'll try to close the receive port and finally if the isolate completes executing the heavy task in order to print the value we make use of the receive port dot first and try to print that response here in the debug console and that's basically what we need to do in order to create an isolate now let's try to create this run heavy task method which is nothing but a simple for loop so here inside this run heavy task method we try to pass a list of arguments and the arguments are nothing but the receive port which we have created here as well as the um iteration count and inside this run heavy task method we try to create a result port which is nothing but the receive port which we have passed as the parameter and in order to access that we can make use of the square bracket and pass in the zero over here which is the first argument and which is then initialized over to the send port and we create a separate variable here which is the value and inside the for loop in order to access the second argument we pass the argument of one which is in the index one all right and each iteration the value is going to be added up and finally we try to make use of the isolate at exit method and pass in the result port which is nothing but the send port which we have passed as the parameter over to this method and also the value so this method is going to kill the isolate and upon which we try to pass the final value which we have added up as a cumulative of the 4 billion iterations so this is basically how you can create an isolate and pass in the data 214 with the help of the send and receive ports and as a quick summary inside this elevated button we try to call the use isolate method wherein we create an instance for the receive port and we try to make use of the isolate the span pass in the method which is going to perform the heavy task and it also accepts arguments it can be a single argument or it can be a list of arguments in this case i have passed a list of arguments here upon completion of the isolate we try to print the response here and here in say this heavy task method we try to grab the send port and perform the heavy task and finally upon completion of the task we try to exit the isolate with the help of the dot exit method and pass in the result port which is the send port here and the final value which uh, which we have obtained as a result of this heavy task all right and let's refresh this app and let's try running it
I click this you see behind the scene the isolate is running independently of the main thread and it is completed executing and the UI is no way getting affected due to this heavy task. So this is just a basic example of how isolate works. Here in this tutorial I have made use of a single isolate but you can extend this simple example to a large scale application where you can have more than one isolate inside a same application and pass the data to and for with the help of the ports. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you again in the next video.